I am Molly Wood and welcome to The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everyone is talking about. This week it's texting help to Haiti, the iPhone saving lives literally, fun with Office 2007, and oh for Pete's sake, the Apple tablet again. But let's begin with the gadget of the week. The gadget of the week is the iPhone. See, this American filmmaker named Dan Woolley was trapped in the rubble of his hotel in Haiti after the earthquake there on January 12th. And he used an iPhone first aid app to treat his broken leg and his head wound and to keep himself from slipping into shock. And then after 65 hours, he was rescued and now he's back at home with his family. So really, his iPhone, and of course the rescue team that found him, saved his life. And that is pretty freaking phenomenal. Also, do we believe this? Because whose battery lasts 65 hours? And now for the news. Speaking of Haiti, technology is saving lives in other ways, as you've probably heard. This week, text-based fundraising campaigns raised more than $27 million in relief aid for that country. And the carriers, after a few stumbles, started waiving text fees for donations and forwarding money directly to Haiti without waiting for billing red tape. So that's all a lot better use of your texting time than like voting for American Idol. And we have posted a list of websites and ways that you can help if you haven't already at blog.cnettv.com. Do what you can. Okay, moving on to tech news and stupid jokes. Apple finally sent out invitations to its tablet or whatever event saying only come see our latest creation. And then the invitation is covered with paint spatters. So I'm thinking it's obviously going to be some sort of e-screen easel that lets you paint doing multi-touch gestures, and then you upload your creations to the newly created iCanvas social network. Right? Oh, fine. I guess it's just probably going to be the tablet, but I'm actually so bored with those rumors that I'm hoping that it's something totally different. Really, mostly more than anything, though, just announce the darn thing already so I can start talking about how silly it is instead of talking about how silly it's going to be. Just kidding. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Speaking of Apple, there were fairly unfounded reports this week that Microsoft and Apple might be in talks to make Bing the default search engine on the iPhone. Like Microsoft and Apple would team up against Google and then you would end up binging on your iPhone. That just does not feel right. Rumor. Microsoft did say this week that it has created a new game to make the frustrating and often baffling task of using Office 2007 a little more fun. They introduced a game called Ribbon Hero that rewards you for figuring out how to do things in Office. Seriously. Microsoft's program manager for Office said the idea came from, quote, watching Office users take 10 steps to do something that could be done more easily in one or two. But maybe... I mean, I was just thinking, instead of like a funny game that you make, just get rid of eight to nine steps and then let people get some freaking work done. Moving on, Bill Gates is now on Twitter, and I, for one, am thrilled. It's about time we got some real celebrities up in this joint. And finally, let's have a look at what's clogging the tubes. This has never happened on Buzz Report before. It's clogging the tubes, the sequel. That's right, everyone. The Shiba Inu puppy cam is back with a new batch of puppies, and the productivity of a nation is once again at a standstill. So, but if I like the puppies and I want there to be more, am I, like, supporting an internet puppy mill? Because this could really start to feel wrong in a hurry. And that's the Buzz Report for this week, everyone. I'm Molly Wood, and thank you for watching.